Now I've wanted to do this direct heat brisket for a long time because the flavor profiles that I love so much while grilling, I wanna see what it does for a low and slow cook on a brisket. And Corey, you've done this a few times, so how do you like to set up the fire? How do you like to operate the cook? So I like to first start, season it like you've done, and then transfer it to the barrel cold. Okay. And then I lift it up as far away as I can, start a fire, burn down wood, whatever that wood's gonna be, into my coals and then I'll supplement with lump coal. Now at about 110 degrees internal temperature, I flip it. Okay. That's gonna give me a little bit more fat smoke. I think you were telling me that really uh, bark is, Im it's important to consider bark all the way up to 145, one 145, 150. So I think that's a really smart play on your part because it's gonna absorb the most smoke and the most flavor when it's cold. And so by separating it that far from the fire, you gently bring it up in temperature and it allows that bark to form on the outside. And then most importantly, the flavor. Yes.